Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to our breakout session, Unit Rebooted. And it's all about real world use cases and success stories about um, Nginx Unit. And before we dive deep into you, um, I want to introduce myself. My name is Timo Stark, and I work as a developer's advocate um, at Nginx, and I'm your host in today's session. And along with me is Tribot, our like unit system robo as a co-host. And our agenda for today is we want to talk a little bit about how we got started with, with Nginx unit, a little bit about the history um, of Nginx unit and uh, where we are today and why we do all this. What is the main purpose? What is our vision about this and why users like um, Nginx unit and what they build with it? And that will bring us to point number three, the real world use case and success stories um, of basically two uh, users. And last but not least, we will wrap up this session with a couple of takeaways um, from this session. And make sure if you have any questions, use the chat to type in questions. And I'm happy to answer um, them after, after the presentation. So let's hop directly into. From our perspective, we believe that today, end-to-end -to -end service delivery is very complex. It contains a lot of different technologies, a lot of different stacks, and to containerize just everything is sometimes useful, but it looks like it got to the de facto standard. So like, let's put anything in a container and like orchestrate it and host it in the cloud um, is the only way delivering modern apps or modernizing monolith applications. And we believe that this is not true. Containerizing everything can be hard and can be very expensive. And on top of this, managing all this, like all the containers, all the different stacks and make it secure is mind blowing. This can be very tough and can be very, very complex. And last but not least, security should not be rocket science. And the more layers we add on top of our stack, the more different technologies we have, the more parties we involve, the harder it will be to have a consistent security layer or consistent security stack for all the different layers. So that is that are the main problems or challenges we see in the today's application landscape. And as we believe that, we had a vision, an idea to create an open source universal web app server that attacks most or all of those challenges. First of all, being a web server and serve static assets and files, as you already know that from, from our current Nginx web server. It looks like a very small use case, but it's still one of the main purposes of a web server to serve static files, JavaScript files, and um, pictures, cascading style sheets, and such things. But on top of this, we wanted to integrate an application runtime that can run your code natively inside of this server. So no need to add an extra layer of an application runtime to your web server. We want tool and a server that can run your application code natively in this single server and security. Security is always on top, is always present. And the more we shift to the cloud, the more we shift to the, to the public cloud providers, the more important security will be. So with all this, we'll have a focus on security and especially to make security easy to use and easy to configure, not hard and not complex. So that was the vision and the idea why we created Nginx unit or what we wanted to solve by Nginx unit. But everything starts with a first commit. Every single application, every single product and project um, started off with a single commit. And as you can see here, we started back in 2017, in January 2017 with the first initial version um, from Igor Sosoyev, and a lot has changed since this 
17th of January 2017. The first release, the first public release uh, was September 6th, 2017. So like five months later after the first commit. And the newest release was back in June 2nd this year. So what happened since then? Of course, we added a lot of features. Um, we had 2,050 or over 2,050 different commits from more than 23 contributors around the globe. And we shaped them into 37 releases, including the latest one, 1 1.27. And we are present on GitHub. And as already said, the vision was to create an open source universal web app server. And as you can see here and the timeline, the community and the interest of the community in Nginx unit grow over time. And within the last, I would say 12 months or eight to 12 months, we saw an higher increase in our, in our GitHub stars, in the community, in the issues and likes and, con and conversations we had on GitHub. Um, so thanks for that. Thanks for being part of the, of the Nginx unit community. And all this brings us to a very generic question. It's like, why? Why we are doing it? Why we are sitting in our offices, in front of our screens, eight to 10 hours a day, um, five days a week, sometimes six days a week, and creating and shaping this project and trying to push the unit forward? And the answer is quite simple. It's all because of you. You means all the developers and great sys admins and operation heroes, system wizards, the web admins, enthusiasts about technology, and all our end users that, in quotes, just want to consume like services and reliable services without downtime, um, without like seconds of loading time. And a little bit because of ourselves, because we really love what we do here to create a project that is on edge and that is really something new. And that's why with Nginx unit, we want to make developers life easier and deliver your services with the same performance and security in mind, as well as reliability, you already know and await from Nginx. That is our team vision from the unit team, like presented here to you. And that is our drive. That's why we do it every day. And to prove that what we think and why we're doing it is the right way, the only way that proves that this is right are real world use cases. And the users out there using our project using our tools and telling us, hey, this is good and this is bad and this can be improved. And that's why I'm more than happy to share with you two real world use cases um, from two different customers slash users. And I want to jump into the first one, which is State Street. And yeah, State Street reached out um, to us via email. And they had a very specific problem in mind um, or challenge to solve. So they had an environment. The work environment was Java 8 with Java Servlet API 2.3. And as you may know, Java was and still is a very, very popular language, especially in the financial services and insurance um, sector and industry. And, uh, we as a unit support um, the, yeah, the Java runtime. So we are able to run Java applications, but let's dig into the problem statement or the use case, uh, what State Street had this, like at the time they, they contacted us. So they used an old Oracle application server that was over 20 years old. And over time, this Oracle product got like, lost support and uh, went end of life. So 
And to mitigate then like any potential upcoming security risk, they really wanted to use something different, something that is still under support, that is under active development, and that is on the other side, lightweight and easy to use. So the application owners who wrote this software like 20 or more years ago um, are not longer available. They are not part of the company anymore. So that makes it difficult to ask questions and like get questions and answers to um, maybe very application specific problems. So the first shot was to migrate all the Java applications to an IBM WebSphere portal server or IBM WebSphere application server. And as they try to use this technology, um, they saw that IBM WebSphere was too heavy for them. So it was not lightweight at all. And the learning curve was very hard. So it was very, very specific and very hard to learn how to configure IBM WebSphere to host the Java files of the old Oracle application server. So that was not the ideal solution. Next, they have tried to use Nginx unit. And we had a couple of conversations with email back and forth and really tried to help them to modernize their Java stack. And I'm happy to share these insights from Joe um, from State Street. So at, at this point, thanks a lot, Joe, for uh, making this possible and, and to let's share your objectives and insights with, uh, with our community. And I would like to pick some of them. So first, Joe and the whole application team at State Street said that Nginx unit was very lightweight and easy to use. It was not a big learning curve. The documentation was good, so it was immediately grabbable and usable from the website and say, okay, we can easily go and use unit for, for modernize our Java application stack. And another point on top of this was that all the applications can be configured with a single JSON file, which was very good for, for, for this use case. And I want to read this as I really enjoyed the, the email from Joe, where he shared the feedback um, from State Street with us saying that the web app is working really well with or under Nginx unit. And it was a very straightforward process in terms of the migration from Oracle to the Nginx unit server. And the whole application team was literally very surprised with how easy the process was from Oracle to Nginx unit and how seamless, how seamless that, that went at the end. Um, yeah, and last but not least, thanks for, for all the support. We received something like this, that a community users says thanks for all the support and the great work. Um, this pays off all the all the hard work we do. Um, so thanks, Joe, at this point and for this great um, use case. So this use case was about modernizing and monolith um, based on the Java programming language. And another different, very different use case is from Lorenzo. Um, it's a colleague from or community member from Italy at this point, thanks Lorenzo for sharing your story with us and the community. And Lorenzo reached out to us um, with a GitHub repository and said, hey guys, I have created um, an Scala implementation on top of Nginx unit. Um, so I can use the Nginx unit HTTP interface in my Scala programming language or in my Scala applications. That was like, okay, what did you do? Like, okay, we, I mean, we support seven different languages, but we do not support Scala. So we were completely out of words saying, hey, we definitely want to see this. And I, I've jumped on a call with Lorenzo a couple of times and chatted with him back and forth. And the use case or the, the, the key problem statement was um, he was looking for a production grade HTTP interface for the Scala programming language. And on top of this, he looked for something that is 
able to automatically load balance requests between different application um, processes or multiple application processes and at the same time serve static assets without a headache and changing Scala source code because of adding a new CSS file, a new picture, a new image, um, whatever. Yeah, and that's when he discovered Nginx unit as a potential um, way to go. And um, again, I'm more than happy and proud to share some statements of Lorenzo. First, he said, unit has a robust and easy to learn C API that can be can be implemented by any language. So he did with Scala. And unit is more than just a tool or a project. He used he used it as a framework for applications and or languages to create a more powerful runtime on top of it. Um, and again, an, a very, very great quote uh, from Lorenzo here. He said he has not used or choose an Nginx because of the brand Nginx. He had he chose Nginx unit because it was very simple to integrate with Scala because of its robust and simple C API. And Nginx unit is the best way to bootstrap a programming language for the cloud. And that was a very great statement and still is a very good statement um, about what Nginx can do. It can be more than just a project and a tool, a server, it can really boost and lift up um, your runtime and your language you're using and uh, shift it to the cloud. So thank you very much, Lorenzo, um, for this use case. And yeah, all to say here is kudos to the to the best users, to the to a great community for all the feedback we have received so far. But that's not the it's not the end of the of the journey, um, nor of this presentation, because I want to wrap up this with a couple of key takeaways from this session. So today, Nginx unit can run your entire application. That means that we can run an HTTP listener. We can encrypt the traffic with TLS. We have a production great, very powerful HTTP request router. And we have an application runtime for more than seven languages, which is absolutely great. And this is where we are today. But this is, this is not the end of the story. We, we want to work harder and more on this to add more features, to bring more value and support um, to the community. And let's ask us or let me ask you as a user a couple of questions here um, and see where they bring us so first question do you want to modernize your already existing applications do you want to easily add security features like namespace isolation c groups to your applications do you want to manage your tls certificates without pain or do you want to have a powerful HTTP request router on top of your application stack and a real-time reconfiguration without any downtime for your server and support for seven different languages, including Go, JavaScript, PHP, Python, and Java? And last but not least, do you want all these things to be in a single lightweight server without managing like five, six, seven different layers and tools? If you can answer most of these questions with yes, then please reach out to us, go to github.com nginx slash unit, give us a try, install nginx unit, try it out, but do not forget, we cannot change the world without your feedback. If you like what you do or what we do, if you use Nginx unit, we would love to hear your pain points. What problems are you trying to solve? What challenges are you trying to attack? What are your struggles? What are your ideas and visions? What are your issues with unit itself, with the documentation and 
please share out your use cases with us so that we can make this whole tool better, more feature rich, and talk about your use case maybe in one of our next presentations um, and bring this whole thing to life. Yeah, I invite you to the GitHub page, reach out to us, give us a star, join our community Slack, and I'm happy to be with you on your journey to a more modern and easy developer's life. Thank you very much and see you soon.